you may not be happy about what we have done but you cannot say that we have we haven't done anything for you so the ANC is going out with that message and that message is going to resonate with the people on the ground it doesn't matter what we think we can say that okay the African National Congress has done one two three it is fine but you guys you have been destroying state-owned entities you are destroying the country the, your corrupt cadres are destroying the country businesses are living in south africa it is fine we can say that but the people on the ground they like that's not how they feel about the nc Ladies and gentlemen, we are back and we are back on full swing and we are back sitting on 20,000 subscribers. Guys, if it wasn't for your support, this platform would not be here. I just want you to know that if it wasn't for you liking the content, if it wasn't for you sharing the content, if it wasn't for you engaging with the platform, this, con this platform would not be here today. I would not be here today. My family would not be enjoying the benefits of the platform being here today. So guys, I just want to say thank you so much for everything that you have done for me and my family. And may you keep subscribing to the platform. May you keep sharing the platform. And may you keep engaging with the content. You know guys how hard we work so that you can have this platform. May you keep engaging with the platform so that we can grow even further. We are only 8 months in and we are already sitting on 20,000 subscribers. Guys, I'm hoping before 2024 ends we would at least be sitting on 30,000 subscribers is that too much to ask <laughs> i don't think it's too much to ask man 30,000 subscribers guys please continue liking and sharing and engaging with the platform you doing that you are supporting me you are supporting me very much guys let's go back to politics man let's go back to politics because the african national congress is on a campaign trail the anc campaign machine is on full swing and the only thing that opposition parties can do right now is to complain about how the ANC actually conducts its campaign machine you know every time when the ANC starts the campaign machine people will complain about all sorts of things that the ANC does for the people on the ground but I don't think the party actually cares about what the detractors are saying the party only cares about what the people on the ground are saying so guys, I'm going to ask you this question. You look at the political parties that we have in the country. You look at the ANC. Do you think that the ANC is going to lose power? Do you think that next month, when South Africans are going to the polls, the ANC is going to lose their support? You know, guys, for the longest time, I was one of those people who actually thought that maybe South Africans have had enough South Africans no longer want to deal with African National Congress. And South Africans are going to show the ANC with their campaign in that we are sick and tired of you, African National Congress. But what is happening right now is the direct opposite. Because Ramaphosa is doing door-to-door. -door. Some of the ministers from the Ramaphosa administration are doing door-to-door. -door. And the people on the ground are welcoming them. The people on the ground are welcoming Ramaphosa and his administration. You know, I was hoping that South Africans were going to protest Cyril Ramaphosa. I was hoping that South Africans were going to protest these ministers from the ANC when they go to their townships, when they go to the informal settlements. You would think that people would be upset with the kind of job the ANC has done. But it looks like the people on the ground still love the African National Congress. It looks like we may not like it. But the people on the ground still love the African National Congress. Guys, have you realized that Ramaphosa, everywhere he goes, people follow him? Everywhere where Ramaphosa goes, people follow him. I remember last time when Ramaphosa came to my neighborhood, I actually thought that we don't have service here. We don't have service delivery. Cr crime, criminals are doing as they please. It's a total mayhem. And you would think that the people would actually go out and protest the president. You would think that the people will go out and make the president understand that, guy, we are having a tough time living in these conditions. But that is not what is happening. South Africans still love the African National Congress. We can say whatever that we want to say about the ANC. But South Africans still love the African National Congress. Because if South Africans were sick and tired of ANC, South Africans would actually go out and protest the African National Congress. Ramaphosa would, would be made to understand that South Africans are not happy on the ground. I mean, the reason why 
every time Ramaphosa speaks, he says that the people are happy with the work that the ANC has done. It's because everywhere where Ramaphosa goes, people are happy with him being there. People have never actually said, the president, we are not happy about what you are doing. President, we are not happy as young people to depend on social accounts. President, we are not happy the fact that companies are closing doors and people are losing their lives. President, we are not happy about the load shedding that is destroying people's lives. These things people are not saying to Ramaphosa. So now that the elections are coming closer, people are starting to be transparent about who they are going to vote for. Some of the people that have said that we are going to vote for the DA, we are going to vote for EFF, we are going to vote for IFP. Some of those people are now starting to say, no, we are going to vote for the ANC. I remember last time I went to town with my woman. And while we were sitting there, people were talking about the elections. You know that the elections is the big thing right now. People were talking about the elections. And I can tell you guys that 90% of the people in the taxi said they are going to vote for the African National Congress. People said that we are not happy about the work of the African National Congress. We are not happy about the fact that the ANC has a lot of criminals. We are not happy about the fact that these people are destroying the state-owned entities. But we are still going to vote for the African National Congress. You know, for the longest time, I've heard opposition parties saying that South Africans are voting against their interest. South Africans are voting against what's better for them. But if you look at how South Africans feel about the ANC and the message that the ANC is striving, because right now the African National Congress is, 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 is campaigning with that message that do not look at what the ANC has done for the past five years, but you need to be careful at what the ANC has done since 1994. Meaning right now, the African National Congress is reminding the people on the ground, the people on the townships, the people in the rural areas that guys, this is what we have done for you. You didn't have houses, but now you have houses, and these houses were provided by the African National Congress governance. You didn't have water, and now you have running water in your homes, and this water has been provided by the ANC government. You didn't have social grants, now you have social grants, and these social grants are provided to you by the ANC government. And we are telling you that if you don't vote for the African National Congress, chances are you are going to lose your social grants. So I hear a lot of opposition parties actually saying that South Africans on the ground, they are voting against their interest. But South Africans are looking at these things that the African National Congress has done for them. And they are saying we are going to vote to keep these things. Even the young people in this country, the young people that you would think that would say, we don't want to, 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 to depend on social accounts. We don't want our lives to depend on social accounts. But the same young people will go out and vote for Ramaphosa so that they can keep their social accounts. So I think the people on the ground, they can actually make... A good argument that no we are voting for our interest we are voting for our interest because you can see that we didn't have the house we didn't have water we didn't have electricity uh, our children are going to school our children are not even required to pay one cent to go to school this is what the African National Congress has actually done and right now they are simply going out and reminding the people that guys we don't have anything to campaign on. You know that Ramaphosa's administration, they do not have any wins. They do not have any successes. So they are reminding the people clearly that, guys, this is what we have done for you. I don't, I, I'm not sure if you guys saw that video of Fikram Balula last week when he went to that event where they were celebrating uh, the, the, the anniversary of Chris Hani. Fikram Balula was speaking with the masses on the ground. And he was telling the people straight up that, guys, none of you can actually say that the ANC has done nothing for you. You may not be happy about what we have done, but you cannot say that we, have, we haven't done anything for you. So the ANC is going out with that message, and that message is going to resonate with the people on the ground. It doesn't matter what we think. We can say that, okay, the African National Congress has done one, two, three. It is fine. But you guys, you have been destroying state-owned entities. You are destroying the country. The, your corrupt cadres are destroying the country. Businesses are leaving South Africa. It is fine. We can say that. But the people on the ground, they, like, that's not how they feel about the ANC. Because if this, if this was the way these people actually feel about the ANC, they would actually be mad at the African National Congress. They would not be happy to see President Ramaphosa. But now people are happy to see President Ramaphosa. And Ramaphosa, every single turn, he reminds them that, guys... You need to understand and you need to remember what the African National Congress has done for you. This is why it is so important for young people now to go out and vote. This is why it's so important for young people to go out and vote. 
But the ANC has actually realized that young people in this country, they don't care about voting. The ANC is not even campaigning to young people anymore. The ANC is campaigning to the seniors of this country because they know that the elderly in this country, they are not hesitant, especially when it comes to voting. These people man, will not waste time. 6 a.m. early in the morning, they will already be out there in the queue waiting to make their marks. But when it comes to young people in this country, young people do not care about voting. That's why right now you see almost everything that is happening in the country young people are the ones that are taking the biggest hits but young people are the ones that are not responding so the ANC is not campaigning to young people anymore they are not campaigning to young people anymore because they understand that young people are not gonna go and vote they are looking at opposition parties trying to convince young people to go and vote but the ANC is laughing at opposition parties because they say guys you are about to learn the hard way that South African young people they do not care about the future of this country we know as the African National Congress we have tried to campaign to these people but we, we know that young people in this country they don't care about the future of this country so good luck to the opposition parties for trying to campaign to young people good luck for trying to bring out young people to go to the polls because we can tell you right now as the african national congress that <laughs> young people do not care about the, the the young people do not care about the future of this country so guys as i'm sitting here i'm just wondering man who are we going to blame who are we going to blame because IEC has all the budget in the world to educate the people about the voting. IEC has all the budget in the world to educate people about the importance of voting. But IEC has, has IEC actually done that? Has IEC actually came out and actually educated our people about the kind of ballots that we are about to have? Do people actually understand what they are about to encounter in that booth? I don't think that South African voters, most of them, they actually understand what they are about to encounter in that voting booth and all of this it is the fault of iec you remember this is what action SA said last week that we know that we we are putting so much pressure on political parties to educate people about the, the importance of voting but at the same time it is not the jobs of political parties per se it is the job of iec to make sure that south africans are making well informed decisions but it looks like south africans are not going to make a well informed decision guys where you stay looking at the ANC, do you think that the people of this country are going to vote out in African National Congress? I don't think so. An outcome that is going to continue stabilizing the economy and the country. So I have no doubt about that. And by the way, so that you are very clear, the ANC is not going to get a buttered nose. I think a buttered nose is going, noses, I should say, are going to belong to many others who are trying to compete with the ANC. You will see. Wait and see. The last question. Mr. President, after your interaction with the masses, what do you, sh what do you think should be your number one priority or the number one priority of the seventh administration? And to the naysayers and some pockets of hopelessness here and there, what's your message to those who are hopeless? The number one priority of the seventh administration, which is going to be led by the African National Congress, is jobs. It's jobs and jobs and jobs and jobs that is our top priority Cre i mean guys it is so <laughs> it must be nice being the president of the nc man just going around and lying to people and people love you and people love you man people love you you know that people are talking about change people are talking about the change that south africa is about to encounter people are talking but uh black people in this country ready for change are black people in this country ready for change because i think the only way we can actually show that we are ready for change is by us stop playing the identity politics and racial politics the day we start talking about the issues that are affecting the country and how we are going to solve these issues that are affecting the country i think that is the only day we can actually talk about change but right now me personally i don't think that black people in this country are ready for change i don't think they are ready for change especially with the anc reminding them about apartheid at every single turn you must know that these rallies that the anc is doing they are reminding people about apartheid they know that many people in the townships many people in the rural areas many people in the informal settlements they know that these people they still have solid memories about apartheid so ANC is just there to remind them of what these people have went through in apartheid. 
and African National Congress, they will still put themselves there and say that, guys, if it wasn't for us, you would still be under apartheid. If it wasn't for us, you would not have these houses. If it wasn't for us, you would not be having all of these of all of these benefits that you are enjoying under the ANC government. So I don't think that South Africans are ready for change, man. I don't think that South Africans are ready for change. I know that, <laughs> you know, like last year, looking at the ANC, man, you would think that South Africans do not want anything to do with the ANC. Because when it comes to the ANC, I say, for once, stop looking at the news, stop reading the newspapers, just look at the ANC campaign and look at how many people are actually attending these events. Just look at where the ANC goes. Stop looking at the news, stop looking at the newspapers, just go on social media and start following the African National Congress and see the kind of response they are getting from the people on the ground. Are these people actually telling you that they are ready for change? I don't think that they are ready for change. Because right now, the, the only thing the ANC has to do is to convince the people who did not want to vote in the last elections to come out and vote. Because you know this is how South Africans are punishing the ANC. South Africans, when they want to punish the ANC, instead of going and voting for a different political party, South Africans will not vote for a different political party, but South Africans would sit at home and not vote. This is how South Africans are punishing the ANC. So right now, the ANC simply goes to go out. The ANC needs to simply go out and remind the people that, guys, you are about to lose everything that we have done for you in the past 30 years. Everything that we have done for you. You see all of these social grants. You see all of everything that the ANC has done for you in the last 30 years. You are about to lose it. And I think the ANC, if the ANC can actually revive those people who actually sat down in, 2020, in 2019, 2018, those people who actually sat down, the ANC can win with an outright majority again. You can see the confidence in Ramaphosa. I mean, I have been trying to watch these people, I man, for the longest time. These people are so confident about the ANC winning with an outright majority. I mean, I'm starting to think that talk about coalition is going to fall out of the window, man. Do you? <laughs> I'm starting to think that talk about coalition is going to fall out of the window because of the confidence these people have. These people are so confident that the ANC is going to win in an outright majority. It's only the polls and the people on or, or, it's only the polls and the people on the newspapers. It's only us here on these platforms talking about the ANC not getting an outright majority. But if you go and, 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 and if you follow the ANC on the ground, you can see that there is not a single political party in the country that is getting the kind of support that the ANC is getting. There is not a single political party on the ground that has been followed by many people like the African National Congress. So who actually failed? Do the, the opposition parties did opposition parties actually fail to move the, the, the South Africans away from the African National Congress? Did opposition parties actually fail? Or did we as the people fail ourselves? Because I'm saying this because like guys, like I've said, man, like you would think that if Ramaphosa is said to go to, for an example, Ellis Park Stadium, man, you would think that people will protest. You would think that you will see burning tires and everything. But that is not what is happening. That is not what is happening. Everywhere where these people go, men are welcomed with open arms. People are welcoming these people with open arms. I remember when the year started, people said that, it is not going to be a comfortable door-to-door -door campaign for the ANC. But I can tell you now that the ANC is doing door-to-door -door campaign very well. People are welcoming to the ANC. They are welcoming to the ANC. People, the tone towards the ANC is not like the tone a couple of months back towards the ANC. That's why I'm saying that even the people on the ground, the tone has changed a bit. People are saying, nah, man, maybe we might as well give the ANC the last chance. <sighs> Maybe I might as well give the ANC the last chance. This is what people are saying on the ground. This is what people are saying on the ground. So I think as the elections come close, people are starting to be like, ah, I'm not going to vote for all of these opposition parties, man. What am I going to gain for voting for Build One South Africa? What is it am I going to gain for, 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 for voting for Rise and Zanz? I'm not going to gain anything from voting for this party. But I think about African National Congress, I think about where South Africa has been. And I think it, like they are playing this game so well. Because even the media is going to start with the movies, the apartheid movies. <coughs> the apartheid movies are coming. The apartheid documentaries are coming just to remind the people where South Africa was 
Even the people who did not experience apartheid are going to be mad at white people. So they will go out and vote for the African National Congress. This is the game that these people have been playing for the past election cycles. And I don't think that this election cycle is going to be different. I'm not going to be surprised when you start seeing the apartheid movies, the apartheid documentaries, the documentaries about the struggle heroes, that the struggle heroes that were actually killed during apartheid so that they can, you know, make people mad about where the country has been so that people can continue voting for the African National Congress. I think this time is not going to be different. It is not even going to be different this time around. This is how the ANC actually plays. This is how the ANC plays. Creating jobs, giving dignity to our people, making sure that we support the livelihoods of our people. That is our main focus as we move forward into the seventh administration. And of course, the other accompanying aspects of our manifesto is that we need to address the issue of this rising uh, level of income, uh, the expenditure that our people are, are being drawn into is something that needs to be brought down. The living expenses or living expenditure our living costs is, keeps rising, so we need to address that. But we also need to pay close attention to the delivery of services, because we need to ensure that our people get the proper services so that they can lead a livelihood of real dignity, a livelihood which is in line with what our constitution has declared. So that's where we're going. <laughs> <laughs> I mean like you know Ramaphosa man <laughs> man these people say the same thing every time they say the same thing every single time until we start actually seeing through these people man like there is nothing that is going to be done until the majority of the people that are voting in this country man start seeing through the African National Congress nothing is going to be done because if someone can play you a tape of Ramaphosa from 2019, he was saying the same things. If someone can play you a tape of Jacob Zuma in 2006, Jacob Zuma was saying, like, like these are the same things, like the African National Congress, they say these things over and over again. But these things, they never materialize. They say these things, but they never materialize. This is what he says from township to township. And people are clapping hands. People are kissing him. Children are jumping in on top of him. Did you see the videos yesterday, man? Children were losing their minds seeing President Ramaphosa. <laughs> Children were losing their minds seeing their president. Saying, this is my president. This is my president. Children were losing their minds. And it's like, it is so easy, man, right now, man. I think with the ANC, man, I think the ANC has successfully broken down this country. Man. Psychologically, they have broken down the country. Because it makes no sense for these people, man, to say the same thing over and over and over again. And for South Africans to continue voting for these people over and over and over again. I mean, like, right now, South Africans, like, they can see how their lives are. Go to the townships, come to the townships and see how we live. Come to the townships and see how our streets are like. Come to the townships and see the kind of criminality that we are dealing with. Come to the townships and see what the illegal immigrants are doing. But the fact that these people, men, are still being given the pass, these people, men, are still being shielded, these people are being protected, to me, it makes no sense, man. To me, it makes no sense. And I'm making this video very worried because I think the ANC is getting strong. I don't know. For some reason, I think the ANC is getting strong. I don't think that the ANC is going to lose so much support, you know, like how people actually anticipated. People are anticipating ANC to go to 30%. I don't think the ANC is going to go to 30%. I think this desperate messaging of the African National Congress, it is actually going to inspire a lot of people who didn't vote in the past elections. This desperate messaging of the ANC, that people are going to lose their social grants and remember what we have done for you since 1994 and remember what the apartheid government did to you and this is the reason why you cannot vote for DA or any of the political party that is affiliated with the DA. This messaging, I think it is desperate, and but I think it is going to work for the ANC. I don't know. What do you guys think?
hopeless as well. Those who are still hopeless. No, those who are hopeless, when they hear our message, and I promise you, as people hear our message more and more clearly about, yes, what we want to do based on the achievements of the past five years and 30 years, they become more hopeful because then they begin to see what has been done and achieved. And many people tend to dismiss the achievements of the past 30 years. Believe you me, the achievement of the past 30 years form a very strong foundation for us to be catapulted to a higher level. And that's exactly what we are going to do. And that brings about a lot of hope to many people that I've been interacting with. And in the end, many people say, we cannot imagine, we cannot imagine this country going forward without the African National Congress. And they are telling the truth. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much, you so ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Man, whoever, whoever came up with that, with that, uh, whoever came up with that strategy of the ANC to focus on what the party has done in the past 30 years, man, this guy was very clever, man. He was very clever because he's playing with to the emotions of South Africans, man. He's very clever, man. He was playing to the emotions of South Africa. So, guys, what do you think about the African National Congress? Do you think these people are going to lose a lot of support? I know that many people are anticipating the ANC to lose a lot of support. Do you think that the African National Congress is going to lose a lot of support? Guys, please tell me what you think on the comment section. Don't forget to hit that like button and the most important part. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. My name is Thomas Mabaso. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.